It sounds like you're maybe doing tree stuff. <laughs> so. All right, where are you? I want to show you my tree. Yeah. Also, you can totally walk on the rainbow. I am enamored with this rainbow. I'm coming to the rainbow. Uh, oh, okay. I can put the, the tree on the rainbow. <laughs> All right, so. Tree. What do I do with it? Your dude shouted protect us as well. Maybe it's a decoy or something. Yeah, the, the, the shield? I don't know. Anyway. I guess there's no avoiding a battle. Three! <laughs> there are two rainbows. Yep. Don't worry, we got this. Coordinates confirmed. I'm sorry, Commander. We are not having any luck locating Tofu. I don't care. That, that's f okay. <laughs> to the team any farther than this would be dishonorable. We also looked for soybeans to make Tofu ourselves, but attempts were unsuccessful. Really? If only I could share the beans from my country. The hunt. General. I will lure them. Sorry for listening in, but I have some important news. You're the general. Regarding Move over. Actually, yes. Japan is only capable of producing a quarter of the soybeans it needs. Why are we learning so much? <laughs> <laughs> like the U.S. and Brazil for the rest. So, unless the world is put back together, Japan will lose most of its soybeans. Yeah, that's supply. the main thing. That that's the main about. thing that it, yeah. Well, I mean, just in case we needed more motivation to put the earth back together. I mean, now we have it. Before, we were kind of all on the edge, but now, now that we know, now, the only yeah. way that Japan will have tofu to put is the world back together. Put the world back together. Maybe we could have found a way to, to sort of live with this. Maybe this was like a manageable condition. Yeah, but that one, <laughs> that really pushed it over the edge. <laughs> Such an educational program. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting anyone to talk about tofu, honestly. Yeah. I will risk my honor to restore the planet. I will not relent until miso soup can be had by all. Ninja. Okay. Well, committed. Didn't realize he hadn't committed to the cause before. Yeah, I kind of thought he had already committed. And does that mean that Cowboy Joe hasn't committed yet? I don't know. I mean, I guess once we find his cows, he's out, right? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. We did it. We won. I am unaccustomed to your weapons. The Inca Brothers weapon is grudge. <laughs> it looks like a multi-barrel thing. It does, but I guess it just shoots grudges. I haven't tried Space Brother yet. I guess I'll try him. It's, it's weird. It's floaty. And if you ever get knocked back, you go flying. <laughs> I want to try out the grudge. The special move is the Thousand Year Spear. <laughs> I'll contribute what I can. Oh my gosh, Fencer is so edgy. Our mission is called who's in command here? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I guess the downside of me switching dudes over and over again is my max health isn't increasing, huh? Because every time I change, I guess I'm spreading out where the max health increases go. I guess, but, you know, it's fun to try them out. Yeah, I definitely am not going to stop trying them out. I don't think Jet Trooper is ever coming out. <laughs> yeah, I think Wing Diver's been in the whole time. Yeah. Okay, who's in charge here? <laughs> Master Commander, I, Kotaro, remain in your debt and shall continue to serve in your honor. There appear to be some giant otherworldly beasts in this next mission area. It would be foolish to strike head on. Let us use the vantage of the land. Oh, giant robots time. Bring it on, robots. Wait, do I need to hit one more button? What have I done? Have I, did I break it? I don't know, everything's black on my end. Oh, okay, there it goes. The robots are so gigantic that it has to load them an extra page. <laughs> <laughs> the iron rule in EDF never gets surrounded. Best way to prevent that, check your radar. Oh. This area is under attack by Hectors. Oh. Hectors? Kind of an odd name for a silver robot, don't you think? Oh, I see These what you mean about the gravity. Oh. Right. Watch out if you're getting hit by Hectors, because they can almost stun lock you. Yeah, I was. I ran out of energy right next to one. That was unfortunate. But I'm getting close to the last rescuable person. Oh, he's right next to a Hector. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh. The, fork? the Inca's grudge gun is a grenade launcher. <laughs> obviously. And the explosions are extremely large. He's taking a lot of the fork. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
What? Be sure to destroy all of them. Oh, don't you worry. But what about the Miso though? Yeah, did we give up on Miso entirely? I mean you could make Miso soup without tofu, just throwing that out there. Yeah. So, who's in charge? Oh, you were talking to me? I'm Vogel Seven, Wing Diver. <laughs> Vogel Seven, please help the team. Let's ride. Hashtag with pleasure. <laughs> she said hashtag. <laughs> It's on the radio. You don't have to tag it. <laughs> the fork isn't doing enough. Perhaps time to escalate to the knife. Aren't you usually stationed at HQ? Why yes, but I come bearing a message from the general. What is it? And why didn't he call us? What is what? Yeah, isn't he on a radio? Yeah. Or is this a different general? The location of the mothership in this area. We won. Oh, I didn't get to goat shrike. Oh, let's have some fun. Goat shrike. What about the mothership? It's just a head, and it's totally insane. It's guarded by tons of hectors. like loads more than we just got here. An army of hectors wouldn't stand a chance. I have an idea, Commander. I'm skateboarding off the edge of the world. Oh no, it, my skateboard runs out. The Yodel Ultimate is a lot. <laughs> Hashtag with pleasure is now Snickle's new catchphrase. All right, well, this has already been a success. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a pound sign, right? For a while there, I was definitely one of those guys that I would say like, Hashtag pound sign. Although actually, Ellie and I have studied music for so long that when I first saw it, I thought it was a sharp. So. Yeah. I guess I haven't tried the cowboy brother yet. The revolver does a lot of damage. I'm gonna try the fencer. I'll contribute what I can. So edgy. What up, Vogel7 here. If you were at hashtag fire that last mission, <laughs> way to flex your mad skills, totally slayed it. If I were the aliens, I'd be all like, big yikes. Oh crap, I don't know what this is. S K S K S K S K S. I don't know. Man, I'm not I'm not hip enough. I don't know. We've got another mission coming up. Let's take out the next group of enemies. Hashtag FTW, which I do know is for the win. Yep, that one I knew. Yep. Man, I'm on cool. Yeah, I, uh... I don't know what all the kids are saying. Oh, no. The red ants. Ah! Uh, oh, if you get caught, you can switch out. Oh, that is nice. In EDF 5 in particular, I would always just get thrown around. It's like, I dang it. The giant spiders with the webs where you get stuck on the webs. Or they oh, grab my gosh. You. Yeah, they grab you. Yeah. We are going to need some solid armoring in order to defeat an army of Hectors. And so, I've called him in to join us. Hey there, Barrett One. <laughs> you have the rescue down there? <laughs> yep. Okie dokie. Masai brother. Ah, oh, red ants! Ah! I don't know if the red ants are mean. They approached way faster than I was expecting. And it seems like the turnover rate for Jargon is getting so fast. It's really fast now. Like, yeah. I don't feel like people came up with slang at, that quickly when I was a kid. <laughs> and now sometimes you go on a, like a message board or something, and it's like, I don't even know what these people are talking about. What's that suit called again? <laughs> a power frame surround. Must make fighting these hectors a breeze, huh? Freeze. <laughs> um, is he ignoring me? Maybe the communicator's not working. So... Do you think they even gave that voice actor a script with just the lines and were like, do whatever? Or do you think they gave him a direction like, irritated grunt, exasperated yeah. sigh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because what do you do if you get a script that's just a series of ellipses every time? <laughs> it's like, I mean, and hopefully then... they give you the other part as well, so you know what you're <laughs> reacting to. Yeah. Oh, nice. I was really having a hard time finding that pirate brother. Yeah, he was, uh, he was pretty hidden. And... I was not helping at all with the fight because I was just trying to find him. So it sounds like Ms. Tactical Officer has quite a bit of trust in you, Barry. What's the scoop? Hashtag history between you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yep. <laughs> you won't make any friends with that attitude. I'm not trying to make friends. <laughs> I see that. Hashtag unfollow. <laughs> I think he would prefer that you did, honestly. Yeah, I don't think he's big on social media. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like you not talking to him would make him happier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, I haven't even tried out the cowboy yet. I forgot to brought Yeah. I definitely just blew myself up with the yodel, with the yodel sister. <laughs> the volcano gun is a shotgun style spread missile launcher. Huh. It's pretty good against ants unless they're charging, and then it gets kind of problematic. I think my problem having trouble with the, the special move of the cowboy. My game lags every time I try it. Oh, the giant jump shotgun thing? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Okay. Oh, more oh, okay, more guys. More enemies? Whoa, okay. Whoa. There must be hundreds of them. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Okay, so Snickle's saying for voiceover stuff, they have the actors do a series of grunts, groans, noises and stuff, and then they can sprinkle them in liberally throughout. Oh, she's gotten to sit in on voiceover recording sessions for video games. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So much would be the hitting people and getting hit effects, right? How do you spell those? It's like, all right, make the sound that your character would make if they picked up and threw somebody. Make some groaning noises, make some noises of exertion. Yeah. And then if you're gonna be a Mortal Kombat character, all right, now make the noise that you would make if you got your head ripped off and somehow didn't die immediately. 